Hello and welcome to the inaugural Paul Laurie Golf Centre Challenge. The centre and the course have been in Paul's hands for a little over a year and there's been some major changes already. The short game area redeveloped and now boasting six greens to hone those chipping skills. Everything you could want in a fully stocked pro shop. A fitting venue then for this mighty head-to-head -head clash. And look at this arriving in style, Paul's opponent for the day. It's our first Paul Lurie Golf Centre Challenge match. Uh, we're going to play it every year. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, Jose, with him, obviously the career he's had and being the winning Ryder Cup captain, he was my first choice. And I approached him at the US Open and it was a, it was a he checked his diary and it was a yes straight away. So to tell you that I'm excited would be an understatement. I always learn when I, when I play with him. I love playing with him because um, his short game, his touch and his imagination is just magnificent. Um, for me, one of Europe's best ever players. I got to know him a little bit better, obviously, at Ryder Cup uh, when we were all kind of quite close that week. And uh, he's just awesome. So, just about ready for the big match, but before the golfers teed off, there was a presentation from the Aberdeen Oilmen's Golf Association for Paul's Foundation and a cheque for £25,000. And with that, we were ready for some golf and a little banter. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, says Paul. Most people would think that Jose Maria Olathebal doesn't need too much luck on the golf course. Two Masters victories, all those Ryder Cup points, and of course, steering the European team to victory for the miracle at Medina last year. Well, he's had a few weeks off, and let's see what he can do with the opening tee shot. I think he quite likes it. Floating in just to the right of the pin on the edge of the green, but no more than 12, 15 feet away from the hole. And that's a pretty good start. Now, speaking of good starts, Mr. Lorry. But up it goes. He looks fairly happy with that. And so he should be. Well, starts don't get any better than that. A hole in one. Two under. I had enough. And the Latha Ball has left the course. Remarkable start from Paul. Great stuff there. Well. When Ollie got up to the green, it took him two putts to get down, so after one hole, Paul was two under, a Lathabal level, and moving on to the second tee. Well, quite obviously, it was now Paul's honour. And another fine shot, although difficult to tell if he might be disappointed with that now, after that incredible start. Now, Hosey might be on the back foot. A little bit. A little bit more of a compact attacking swing than Paul. And you can see the action on the ball spinning back. Pretty even stuff from the tee. And the crowds. Well, there's a nice old fashioned feel about this with the crowds lining the holes. And there we have Paul's sons, Michael on the left, Craig the older on the right. And if you think this game's competitive, well. According to their father, there's uh, nothing more competitive than Michael versus Craig on the golf course. Now, can Lathabal sink his birdie putt and move to one under par? Just rolling away to the left. Good enough for a par though. It's a stroke play format today. And Lathabal stays level par. Now, Paul, can he go three under after two holes? He certainly can. Well, a one and a two on the, on any card, on any course, is a pretty impressive start. The crowds move on. Up to the third. A little bit longer this hole, 144 yards. And a rather large water hazard to the left of the green, for those who like to pull the ball. Well, Athabal seems quite happy with that, though. And no wonder... Just to the left of the flag. And another good birdie opportunity. 
Paul was a little bit more wild with his tee shot. As we move up to the green. Well, Arthur Bow's got this for his birdie to move to one under par. Ooh, it just wasn't to be. Close, but no cigar. Well, Arthur Bow stays level par. And Paul, well, he had quite an errant tee shot. Chipped onto the green and left himself this putt to save par. And stay at three under and three ahead of Alathabal. Missing on the same side. And Paul had to settle for a four. Back to two under par as the crowds move on. And we're now up onto the fourth tee. Now, Paul, oh, another fantastic tee shot. Just over the flag. A little bit longer again, this hole. 177 yards. Alatha Bal, this was a tee shot. He left it on the edge of the green with a long putt with a big break for a two. Could he get under par? Not quite. But that's close enough for a par. Nice stuff there from Ollie. Well... Everybody knows how good his short game is and the success he's had with it over the years. Now, Paul. Two under par. This for another birdie to get back to three under. And right in the middle. Well, four holes played on a par three course and Paul hasn't had a single three. Two birdies, a hole in one for an eagle and a bogey four. He's three under par though and going well. Crowd's moving down onto the fifth. The fifth, the longest hole on the course. And Olathebal's tee shot. Well, he nearly found the next water hazard. And you can see the trouble he's in. He's got a terrible lie down there, but managing to pop it out on this 205 yard hole. A long way back for his par from there, though. But uh, I can tell you that lie was horrendous. And he did well just to move it. Paul also missing the green, but rolling it up and, well, living up to his nickname, Chippy. And for the first time in five holes, Paul gets a par. Now back with Alathabal, he's got this to save his par. He's parred every hole so far, still at level. Uh, but this is a big ask. This to stay just three behind, still a few holes to go. It's a good effort, but just missing on the low side. So Jose Maria moves up to one over par. He's now four shots behind Paul, who's still sitting at three under. On to the sixth. A little bit shorter again. 127 yards. And a nice safe tee shot there from Paul. And Laura Murray there taking her photos. Up and coming young pro on the ladies' circuit. I notice she's taking photos of Alathabal rather than Paul. And uh, she's currently starring in an advert for Visit Scotland. You can keep an eye out for that. And look at that for a tee shot from Alathabal. Lovely stuff inside Paul. Can we see the first birdie of the day? Oh, it's all getting a bit exciting for some of the spectators out there. Fabulously relaxed atmosphere all round between the golfers and the crowds up here in Aberdeen. Very knowledgeable lot. And of course, the Scottish Open will be coming to Aberdeen next year. Now, Paul. This to move to four under. Not quite. Somebody told me, I don't know whether it's true, somebody from the crowd told me that the course record is six under. Perhaps Paul's got his eye on that. Alathabal. Can we see the first birdie of the day? A little bit of a comeback. <laughs> right in the middle. Yes, and he enjoyed that. So did the crowd. Back to level par for Alathabal. Paul Laurie still three under. On to the seventh. The shortest hole on the course. But there is a massive slope on the green. To help protect the hole. Just a little flick with the sand wedge. 
for these guys. And Oli, well, he likes it. He fired it straight at the flag. Just spun off to the right a touch. But very nice tee shot. He's getting in the groove now. Paul, that very relaxed, easy swing there. And, well, he's landed it on that slope and watch this ball run. Yes, he knows the course a little bit more than a laugh about, perhaps. All keeping the local knowledge to himself there. And the crowd's moving around, hoping for an exciting climax to the match. Ollie really needs to see this in now. Paul so close with his tee shot. This to go one under par for Alathabal. Ooh, just to the edge of the hole again. And he birdied the last. Didn't quite manage it here. Might have helped if he'd known about that slope being... The place to land the ball, never mind. And Paul with little more than a tap in to move to four under par. Very impressive stuff. And yes, and now the hints and tips come out. A little bit too late, I think. Moving on to the eighth. Beautiful rhythm and Paul's swing. But he's been a little bit fiery with that. And that's going to be an awkward putt from the edge of the green there. You can see another slope protecting the hole. And all the camera phones are out. On silent, I hope. Not putting off the players. Just getting a little snapshot. And oh dear, well, that's a ball. He's pulled that. Uh, well, luckily for the crowd, he pulled it enough to clear their heads, and he's over in the rough. The eighth, a very tricky hole. Slightly into the wind. 182 yards. Uh, well, of course, Alathabal, as I said earlier, famous for his short game. Uh, pulling out a lovely chip there. Appreciated by the crowd. Well, the sun beginning to break out a little bit more now. The weather's been very kind. Up here in Aberdeen, and Paul, look at this putt, just right on the edge. Well, that's almost impossible to stop that ball in the down slope. Paul would have been thinking, just get it to the top of that slope and let the, the hill do the rest of the work with the ball. As it was, the ball just stopped up. He's got a very tricky downhill putt to save his par. And just misses on the high side. And, well, the course record might have gone with that chance, and I think maybe he knows it. He's back to three under par. And he'll still be three ahead, even if Jose sinks this putt, which he does. Lovely up and down to save par. But still three in it as they move on to the last. So, really, Alathabal looking for a hole-in-one. And for uh, Paul to bogey the hole. It's a big ask. And as it was, well, Paul put his in the bunker. To the right, Alathabal was nicely on the green. Paul looking to get up and down to finish at three under. This was Alathabal's birdie putt. This to finish under par. It's a long way to the hole. And just missing there on the right hand side. Camera crews from Sky Sports, ITV, they're all down to see Ollie finish with a par. Yes, lovely par. To go round and level, excellent stuff there from the Lathabal. Good experience shown. And a nice broad smile. He knows the match is away from him. I think being a victorious Ryder Cup captain obviously comes with its privileges. I don't know how um, my playing partners might react if I tried that on the Saturday morning medal. Anyway, Paul to finish out at three under. Yes, he does. Lovely save from the bunker. And what a fantastic match. Paul Laurie wins three under. Jose Maria Lathabal level par. We caught up with the players afterwards. And uh, you might be surprised at Paul's own personal highlight of the match. My personal favourite was the seventh, where, where kind of the, the, the pin was on the bottom right and there's oh, a big yeah. slope left. Yeah. And 
I kind of I kind of said to Craig, should I, you know, should I say to Jose that it comes in off the left? And I thought, nah, just leave him. You know, he might, he might get a bit closer. You always said it long and left of that hole, just in case you're yeah. wondering, Jose. No, it comes it's just back, a little bit late for that, no? <laughs> Putting the gamesmanship to one side, what about that start and the hole-in-one? Just a little bit too far for a wedge, so I just thought I'd hit a smooth 9-iron. And uh, it was online, and then I turned away. I just, I did, you just don't assume it's going to go in. So, obviously, with the crowd reaction, we could tell that it was in. So, very nice. Lovely way to start. Welcome to Aberdeen, Jose. I don't see it the same way, you know. Uh, <laughs> it's not a great start. <laughs> No, obviously it was fantastic to watch that. And despite the shock start, Jose more than happy to be here today. We've known each other for many years. We do have a lot of respect for each other. Uh, I know that uh, uh, he's doing a, a wonderful job trying to help uh, young kids and, and bringing this game uh, closer to, to those uh, kids. And uh, after uh, what happened uh, last year uh, in Medina, um, I own those guys uh, a lot. And uh, it was uh, just uh, one way to pay a little tribute to, to what they did. Facilities are fantastic. If you want to work uh, your game, this is perfect. Uh, you do have uh, nine holes par threes that, that are beautiful, and you do have a chipping area here where you can really sharp your uh, short game. So uh, the place is, uh, you know, is magnificent, spot on. Both players enjoying the course, the golf, and the crowds. Crowds were fantastic. Obviously, we, we weren't sure how many would come. It's the first one. And uh, when Jose and I were warming up, obviously they were arriving, so I had no idea. And you get on the first tee, and, you know, it's kind of the whole hole's ringed, you know, with people three and four deep. Congratulations to Paul, and we look forward to seeing you defending the trophy next year.